Genesis 45, we see Joseph finally reveal himself to his brothers. And there's people in this room who you've had situations arise, maybe in the past year, maybe it's been even longer than that, where your dreams haven't come to pass. There's been people who have hurt you along the way, people who haven't been there who said they would, people who should have helped but didn't, people who talk bad about you, just like what happened to Joseph. And now he's finally at a point where he has to determine in his heart, Joseph has to say, all these things happened to me. It's my brother's fault that I was in a pit and then I had to go to Potiphar's house and I had to go to prison. But how am I going to interpret what happened to me? And you see something so beautiful in the life of Joseph. It says, Joseph in verse 40, chapter 45 cannot control himself. So he stood by him and he cried out, make everyone go out for me so no one stayed with him. And Joseph made himself known to his brothers and he wept so much emotion so that the Egyptians heard it. The house of Pharaoh heard just, just Joseph releasing 13 years of pain and hurt. And Joseph said to his brothers, I'm Joseph. Is my father still alive? They didn't recognize him. And they were dismayed at his presence. They couldn't even answer him. So Joseph said, no, no, come here. Look at me. And they came near and he said, I'm your brother, Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. Look at verse five. And now this is his declaration over what happened in his life. Do not be distressed or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. It's a contradiction. He says to his brothers, you sold me. And then the very next verse, he says, but God sent me. And as you look at your year, as you look at your past, there's going to be some people and there's going to be some times where you feel like you were sold into something. You were pushed in to a pit. People abandoned you. They weren't there for you. They hurt you. And Joseph isn't denying that. He says to them, look, I can't take it back. It hurt me. You shouldn't have done that. You said you'd be there. You were my brothers. You pushed me and you sold me. But at the same time, God sent me. And they're not two different events. It's Joseph's perception. It's Joseph's interpretation of what happened. Instead of wallowing in what they did, instead of wallowing in pain and unforgiveness and bitterness, he decided to see it through the lens of, no, you didn't just sell me. God also sent me. There was a purpose behind my pain. There was a reason that this happened, and that's what I choose to focus on. One of the greatest gifts God will give you is the ability to see your situation through the lens of the goodness of God. Instead of seeing God's goodness through the lens of your situation. That's the temptation. God's not there. God forgot about me. They pushed me. They sold me. No, no, no. God sent me. And this might not have been the way that I planned, but I'm not going to step into 2020 and literally the rest of my future in my life, holding on to the past, holding on to pains, reminding myself they sold me, they sold me. No, I'm going to step into my future saying, God, you're sending me into something that you uniquely designed for my life.